Welcome back to Rumors. We've got another fall beer. It's Emmer e Forskin. Did you say Forskin? <laughs> <laughs> All right, Mary, Immer Eforskin is a German style Pilsner lager. What? I don't understand what's happening right now. Why are you laughing? Why do you keep saying foreskin? How do, you, how do you say that? I don't. I'm not German. Erforst Chen? <laughs> I like foreskin better. <laughs> German style Pilsner lager, in case you didn't know. 5.33% alcohol. This was released at the same time as Corktoberfest. Um, and I love the wrapping on this. When you take a closer look at it, it's totally fall. It's got fish and turkey and frogs and pheasants and butterflies and a hedgehog. Hedgehog? That's a hedgehog. Yeah. No, that's a porcupine. This is a porcupine. It's a hedgehog. That's a por- look at the needles! Mm, it's a hedgehog. Porcupines are bigger and fluffier. Mitosis. Oh, wow, yeah, cells dividing. Good call, good catch. There's a Bird. yellow jacket. The pheasant. No. I like that. The fox. What does the fox say? I don't know, and you don't either. <laughs> I, like, I like moth. I like frog. But they also have the tadpole, see? I like tadpole. And the snail. It's like the circle of life. And a beetle. And the, there's the turtle. DNA strand. Nice. Mushrooms. Pine cones. Yeah, so just a fall feeling to it. I really like this can. Any other thoughts, Mary? <sighs> What's the difference between a Pilsner and a Lager? Well, let's consult the beer chart. Lager. <laughs> I guess Pilsners are Lagers. Yep, there we go. Pale lagers are pilsners. What does it say? Under so pale? Small. Yeah. It says the pale lager brewing process dates back to the mid 19th century. The combination of a well attenuated body and a noble hop bitterness creates a gold colored beer that is now the most common beer served around the world. Boring! Lagers and pilsners are disgusting. Well, to each their own. But that's Everybody. enough talking. Everybody. That's enough talking. Everybody. That's enough talking. <laughs> let's get to drinking. <laughs> All right. Let's open the beer. Over here. Why second beer everywhere? Yes. Wow. That's just water. Totally see through. I thought bottle logic could do no wrong. Bottle logic can do no wrong. I haven't had one thing from bottle logic that I didn't like. It was like a longer. Longer. Oh boy. <laughs> it was like a longer. This is like that light, bready. See, it's not malty like the the other one was. This one's more beery. Yeah. This smells like something that you know I don't I mean? like. Like there's that light straw color that we're used to seeing with like, give me a generic beer. Here you are. Yeah. Cheers. <laughs> Prost. Ooh. Woo! That was what the fox said. Did y'all hear that? What are those thoughts that are running through your head right now? Well, there's all the bread. I, it's strong. It's like strong bitter bread. Yeah. I don't know if I care for that. It's really bitter. Yeah. This is probably the bitterest Pilsner I've had ever. Which is interesting. I, mean, I don't usually expect... I'm sure it's the hops that are doing that. I, it's not something that I expect from a Pilsner, honestly. I expect it usually to be pretty watery. I don't... hate it. I just, I would never buy this again, and you can drink all the rest of the three. No, I was gonna let you have them. You no. like it so much. No, you can have it. Alright, we'll see who rates it higher. One. Two. No, I give it a one. Oh, I thought we were counting. 
I'm just kidding. I don't give it a one. I just, I, it's really bitter. It's a lot bitterer. <laughs> than it, like you said, a lot, a, a lot more bitter than any other lager, pilsner, or anything like this that I've ever had before. It's not bad. The flavors are fine. It's just so bitter. Yeah. Honestly, the bitterness, though, I will say it kind of replaces almost that breadiness after the first sip. Um, yeah, I guess a little. I mean, you still get it. It's just not as much. I, I just focus so much on that bitterness at the end. I don't know about this. Bottle yeah. Logic, so I think this is might be Bottle Logic's first mistake. Well, maybe they took all of these these creatures on here and put it in the beer, and that's why they're better. Mary, what do you think you're gonna rate this beer at five? Um, 2.5. That's interesting. Because I'm giving it a 2. I don't like this very much. I don't like it's it. It's not a drain pour, but like, I can tell you and I are going to have a time getting through these last three cans. You are going to have you a time. You are going to help me. I bought them for you. I, and I appreciate it. This is another beer that you got for us to review. Um, unfortunately, it was in a four pack. <laughs> Fortunately for you. Yes. So many of these. Um, yeah, it's not my favorite, but it's also not a drain pour. No. And I mean, I'll finish it. This. And probably that. But then it's like <laughs> a 5.33%. Yep. So, I mean, not very high at all. It could be a good beer pong beer. Yeah, it would be a nice beer pong beer. And that is it for today's beer review. I hope you enjoyed it. We're still on the lookout for more fall beers to review, so if you have any recommendations, let us know down in the comments below before the season is over. Uh, slam the bell icon as you do. Be notified when we upload new videos. Like, share, subscribe. Helps us out a lot. And until next time, World of Armatures, trying every beer from around the world. One, One sip, sip at a time. time.